beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. I thought this week I'd mix it up a little bit and do a little morning routine with me. So welcome, please subscribe, please hit the like button and join my little fam. I started this morning by going into the kitchen and just clearing up from the night before. I tend to try and do this first thing just to kind of clear out my mind. And then obviously there's only going to be one thing that I start my morning with and that is coffee. Then I was feeling a little bit lazy this morning so I thought I'd take my coffee, get back in bed and just chill out for a bit because I think it's really, really important to have these kind of self-care kind of mornings. I've been making a little bit of a conscious effort to write out every morning a to-do list for myself. I think this is just helping, especially during these times, to kind of keep myself focused and to keep myself feeling productive even when I'm not. It can be the simplest things that you put on these lists, but it really, really helps. Now it was time to get my lazy ass up out of bed and get on with my day. It sounds really silly, but I always make sure I start my day by making my bed. It's just something that actually helps me crack on with the day and makes me feel a little bit more productive. If you've done that early on, then you can literally do anything. You've got this. Now onto my morning skincare routine. I always start the day by washing my face with the Squalene Cleanser by The Ordinary and use a microfiber cloth just to wash off any dead skin cells. This cleanser is literally perfect in the morning because it's not too harsh and is super, super kind to your skin. Now on to the morning's workout. Now I don't always put pressure on myself to work out in the morning. I know it's really, really difficult to motivate yourself during lockdown, but when I do, I always try and do just a YouTube workout. And this one I've been absolutely loving is the Heather Robertson Resistant Bands Workout. She literally works out your legs, your upper body and your abs just by using a resistance band. She's just amazing, she's so, so good. On the days I'm not working out, I usually go on a little walk or just something to get myself out of the house to keep myself active. I just wanna warn you though, this workout is intense, I'm not gonna lie, it's not easy. <laughs> On to the shower. Something I've been loving at the moment is this John Frieda Frizz Ease shampoo. Honestly, it's so, so good. As I said before, I'm a bit on a bit of a hair journey. Honestly, I don't change out of loungewear. And today I decided to put on my beautiful El Jobe sweatshirt. And oh my God, this is by my beautiful friend Lucy. Go check them out if you haven't seen them before. So as I said before, I'm really, really trying to work on looking after my hair. I have curly hair, but I've never really looked after it before. So this is me trying. I'm firstly using the Frizz Ease Serum by John Frieda again. And this is what Michelle Humes uses. So I'm gonna use it too. I firstly start by putting the serum through my hair and then doing this technique, which I now know is called plopping. Uh, I think that's right, it makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. I do apologise for that if you weren't ready for it. And if you wanted a clip of me struggling to put my earrings in, then this is it. Am I okay? I don't think I am. Now, on to skincare. On this particular day, I had a really, really bad skin day and I just wanted to be real with you. This is nurse's skin in full swing. Honestly, when will it stop? Just when I think I get on top of it, it starts again. So I'm continuing with my skincare regime and I'm starting with the Glycolic Acid Serum by the one and only Revolution and just taking this on a cotton wool pad. This is just like a gentle form of exfoliation that you should do every single day and look at the dirt that comes off my skin. Then we move on to a hydrating spray and I'm using my Glow Spray by Boots which I spoke about in last week's video. Then we're going to go into my favourite ever product and that is the Azeliac Acid Suspension and this is, just using this as a serum, oh my god, I absolutely love this product, it is everything, although it makes me go really red, I'm sorry about my face right now. Then we go into the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturiser and obviously in between these layers I just let them sink in and let them dry but I'm just doing it kind of quick time for you. After this moisturiser, we then go in with our SPF moisturiser, which is so important, everyone. Please make sure you're using SPF. 
on this particular day I just wanted kind of like a natural no makeup day because my skin was so so sad so all I did was brush up my eyebrows and then yeah I was ready to go this is the finished look oh she's awkward there she is now on to breakfast. This is a breakfast I've been absolutely loving, especially now it's getting colder. I take 50 grams of oats and then add about 250 mils of milk to this and uh, a hell of a lot of cinnamon. I'm sorry for you, all you cinnamon haters. Once that's cooked, don't worry if it's looking a little bit milky. I add the vegan protein, this one is chocolate vegan protein powder which is honestly amazing. You can literally add any kind of protein powder to this and it just makes it super thick and creamy and it's a good way to get your protein in. Then obviously I'm going to go in with the toppings because that's the whole point of the porridge right, <laughs> the toppings. Look at her, isn't she just beautiful? Then I just took this over to the table and sat and ate while I watched some YouTube. Obviously, that's what I always do. And then I did some editing. So this will go ahead and conclude the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. And remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and join my little fam. I love you all so, so much. And I will see you next week.